everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm sharing with you all a pot de creme or a chocolate pudding recipe today's episode is being sponsored by angostura bitters so let's jump straight into the recipe let me show you how easy this is to put together we're starting in a saucepan i'm adding in my heavy cream next goes in some whole milk and we're going to bring this up to a simmer. Once the milk is hot, add in your chocolate. I like using milk chocolate. You can use any type of chocolate you like here. You want to mix it well and make sure that it dissolves. Once the chocolate has been dissolved, I'm going to go in with some instant coffee and I'm going to mix that in. Once your coffee dissolves, go ahead and set this aside, let it cool down slightly. For the second part of this recipe, you're going to put five large egg yolks into your bowl. Add in sugar, vanilla, and you're going to whip or beat this until it's light pale in color. So you're looking for light yellow color, guys. Now goes in Angostura Cocoa Bitters. This Cocoa Bitters is made from the Trinitario Cocoa and it adds a nice nutty floral note to this recipe. Next, I'm going in with the Angostura Orange Bitters, which adds that orange zest flavor to this. So give this a good mix and then take one ladle and pour it into your egg mixture. We're going to temper this mixture so you want to add a little at a time so you don't scramble it. Go in with another ladle and keep mixing. And once you've tempered it, you can go ahead now and add in the rest of the chocolate mixture. So once you put both sets of ingredients together, Give it one more whisk and then we're going to strain this to make sure we have a nice smooth texture. And you want to fill them about three quarters of the way up. Remember we still need to put our whipped topping. Look how amazing that looks and it smells absolutely amazing. Just imagine when it's baked. To this, I'm adding in my water bath. So I'm adding in my hot water and bringing it up to about half of the way up on the ramekins. It goes into my oven to bake 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes or until it's set. Once they're done, and they don't jiggle in the middle, you know that they're set and they're ready. So all you have to do is cool them down and then place them in your refrigerator overnight or for a couple of hours to chill. While they're chilling, let's make the whipped cream. So to make this infused whipped cream, we're going in with heavy cream in our bowl. And if you don't have heavy cream, you can use table cream or media cream. In goes my icing or powdered sugar and we're going to mix and whip both ingredients until it's firm peaks. So once it's nice and firm like this, we're going to go ahead and add in some of that Angostura Cocoa Bitters. This is going to take this whipped cream up another notch. So I'm going in with a couple dashes of that and I'm going to mix that in. Now if you wanted a citrus orange zest flavor, Go in with some of the orange bitters in the whipped cream for that citrus element. Mix, taste it, adjust it, and then all you have to do is pipe it on your pot de cremes. When you taste this whipped cream, you will ask yourself, why have I never tried this before? Shave some chocolate over the top for garnish, and then it's ready to be served. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. It's a really luxurious and a really fancy dessert you can make. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. If you did, comment down below and let me know. Remember, you can purchase Angostura Aromatic, Orange and Cocoa Bitters at Walmart. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.